I have an LG TV model number 50PK550 and it's not turning on. So when I plug it in, I do hear the click and then it clicks off and we get no picture. And then it'll click again and still no picture. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's going on inside. The common fault that we see with this TV and the issue that we are currently experiencing with this TV is that the TV is cycling on and off, but it is intermittent. Sometimes the TV actually turns on and does display picture. Sometimes it just keeps cycling on and off endlessly. So now that we have the TV open, let's plug it back in. And to make it easier, I'm gonna put the mic a little closer to the power supply so you can hear that clicking. And so as you can tell, we're not pressing any buttons. There's no remote being clicked or anything. It just keeps cycling. One of the tricks that we have to confirm if the cycling is caused by the main board or something else in the TV is to do the color pattern test. So let's go ahead and try that. In order to do the color pattern test, we need to disconnect the main board from the power supply. So I just disconnected that connector here. And we're also going to disconnect the LVDS ribbon from connecting the main board to the logic board. And lastly, if we zoom in over here, we have um, resistor R51 and R52 with two little holes. We're gonna go ahead and jump them with this jumper cable. And then we're gonna turn the TV back on by simply plugging it in. Because the main board is disconnected, there's no point in pressing a button. The buttons are also disconnected since they connect to the main board. The TV should actually be automatically turning on at this point. And I just plugged it in nothing's happening, which means the issue is with one of the boards that's currently connected in circuit, meaning the main board is not the fault. So at least we've ruled that out, but we haven't figured out the problem yet. So I have my multimeter in DC volts. I'm gonna be using the chassis as my ground, and I'm gonna be doing a couple of checks on my VA and the VS test points. Starting with the VA, and the TV's not clicking on anymore, so let me just press the power button. And we should be seeing about 60 volts, but we're not getting anything. Right now it says millivolts. Let's try the VS. And the VS is about 1.5 volts. And then when it clicks off, it goes to 0, 0 0.8. Which for that one, we're supposed to be seeing 203 volts. All right, so we're not quite there. Typically, when we see intermittent problems like we're experiencing right now, it means that we're not gonna have shorted components, so I'm not expecting a shorted component. Usually, intermittent issues mean cracks out of joints. So what we're gonna do is start by removing the power supply from circuits, and we'll check the back of the power supply to see if there are any crack solder joints. So after a quick check, I did find a crack solder joint right over here, and that is on the leg of one of our transformers. So if you take a look at the board from the front, it's gonna be this one. And when we flip it around, it's gonna be the bottom leg over here. So as we can tell, there is actually so much burning that there's actually a hole and a gap. And now the leg is completely free floating. It's not making any contact. And we were actually checking out another board recently on another video we did for a Samsung power supply that had similar issues. So this one, the burning is not too bad. So what we're gonna do is remove the old solder and put some fresh solder on there. So because the solder on here is very much burned, it's actually really hard to make it flow. So in order to remove it, I'm first gonna add more solder. And one of the reasons I don't wanna just call it a good job right now with what I just did is because the solder I'm going to be replacing it with is leaded solder, which is a softer, made of softer metals and has a little bit more flexibility and is less prone to cracking in the future. So this should, in theory, make our joints stronger and prevent future problems. And there we go, a little cleanup. Now, it's not necessary, but I am noticing that a few of my transistors have a couple legs that have this little ring starting to form around. Um, what that means is that the joint is not yet cracked, but it will be soon. So for those, same thing, we're gonna go ahead and clean those up, put some fresh solder, and even though it's not the immediate issue, I just don't want this board coming back with problems in the future. So we want, just wanna make sure we're thorough. So this is gonna get a little boring, so we'll do the rest off of camera because there's about 15 more of these. Uh, but we'll reconvene at the TV. I just finished putting the power supply back in. However, I did not connect our main board nor the ribbon over here. So we still have our uh, pretty much the color pattern test set up ready with the jumper. We're gonna plug the TV back in. 
We do get our click even though the main board is disconnected. And let's see if we get our color pattern test. And we get our green screen, blue screen. We do have some lines on the screen, but that was actually expected. This model we knew had uh, lines on screen as well, white, and it'll keep going through this pattern. So what that does confirm though, is that our power supply is now working. And before we plug the main board back in, I wanna do a final check with our voltages. So same thing, we're in DC mode, chassis ground. Let's check out that VNVS voltage. And now we're getting our 60 volts on the VA. The VS, we are now getting the 203, exactly on the dot what we need. So let's go ahead and turn it off or disconnect power. And then we're gonna connect that main board and then make sure everything's working. All right, now it's plugged in with the main board connected. So we should be getting our LG logo and we have our HDMI one, perfect. Let's bring up the menu. The menus are showing up properly. So we're all set. We have another successful repair. If you like the content, if you like the video, leave us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.